Um, do you want to swivel around 180 yeah. degrees, I think? Right. as the surface. So you know, if I do that, I can't just can't the place right now. What I get there is basically a mould of the shape of the outside of this tool, which may or may not be relevant to what I'm trying to do. Whereas if I take that and curve it across, I'm not that shape is not determined purely by the shape of the tool, it's by my movement and my observation of what the form is underneath. So particularly with mouths you want to be thinking of the lips of that rather than that. Oh, <laughs> <Sorry>. yeah, yeah. <coughs> and the other thing is if you try and you look at the mouth and think, oh I haven't got the line of the joint of the lips right, 
the, England, the, the temptation is to try and redraw it with the tool. Yeah. Yeah. But you, the, that line is not created by a drawing, it's created by the shape of the two bits of flesh meeting. Yeah. So what you want to do is to go, okay, well if that line is too low, then that means I haven't got enough lower lip to push the upper one up. So I want to add a little bit of clay to it to push that line upwards. And, or I might even just go, okay, I've got that whole thing too low, just push it, and this is place getting a bit too dry, but you could just physically move the whole lump of clay and squeeze it together. So you can get, you don't need actually to make the join of the lips by drawing it or carving it, you can make it by pushing two pieces of clay together.